said, quote, everything changed for medical marijuana when Amendment 64 passed. Um, you know, people watching the show, listening to the show, will most likely know that Amendment 64 legalized recreational cannabis here mm -hmm. in Colorado, but can you elaborate on that? How did things change for medical when suddenly Colorado welcomed and opened the doors to, to recreational? Well, things changed on a lot of fronts. Um, Patients ha have become much more of a commodity and a means to an end. Um, a lot of... Means uh, to me an end in terms of a plant count. Right. Plant okay. counts. Um, uh, they're now customers, consumers. So, mm -hmm. you know, there's revenue. Um, and when it comes to revenue, there was this assumption that when Amendment 64 passed, that all these patients that we assumed would, did not belong on the registry in the first place would just give up their red cards and would bail off and go to the rec stores. And so when that didn't happen, um, there was a lot of talk about um, they were patients were staying on the registry just to avoid taxes and you know this was illegal and um, that was a big change where there was much more sympathy I think um, but suddenly it became a lot more about money oh. and whether or not the state or uh, local governments were getting their right tax revenue and um, and that if patients were staying on the registry and they didn't belong there then they were criminals so um, that attitude cha change was um, pretty disconcerting. And there has been that feeling. I mean, and, and, and we've seen legislation that, you know, has tried to, to that has come from that perspective. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and I, I've even heard some locals refer to the red card, the medical marijuana card, as the quote, locals discount. So there is some of that happening on the medical marijuana side, but because that's happening, then you feel that uh, mm -hmm. people are discounting the, the true patients right. who are using it for. Well, and yeah, because then, you know, it, what that does is it disparages the patients that are out there that really need this plant. Mm -hmm. That, you know, I talk to cancer patients that are using this not just for the nausea, for chemotherapy, that are in late stage cancer, this is their last hope, and they're using cannabis to try and beat back cancer. You've all heard about the our kids with epilepsy that, you know, they've tried all these different drugs and now they're coming to Colorado um, to, to try cannabis and the miracles that they've been seeing. Some of the most amazing yeah. stories. And granted, it's not working for everybody. It's no. not working for all the kids, but it's working for many of them. And this anecdotal evidence has really built up a pretty amazing case mm -hmm. for CBD uh, in treatment and, and THC in treatment for epilepsy, especially among children. And then one other thing that we've seen in the patient community with the passage of Amendment 64 is that there is a much um, brighter spotlight, I think, um, because of that, not just on recreational, but also on medical. So one of the things that we try to kind of watch out for is watch the regulations that they were applying to recreational through um, the Amendment 64 process, knowing that eventually some of those would bleed down onto medical. And we have seen that, for example, with the um, child-resistant packaging or sure. efforts to, to limit potency, those kinds of things. Absolutely.